right, we're out of here again. Uh, let's see, this morning I dropped a new uh, filter and a, uh, did an oil change on the tractor here. Beginning of the season, it's that time. This thing good old Saber by John Deere. Uh, what I did was I went online to try to find a cheaper filter because these filters tend to run about 13 bucks. So I jumped on a couple of different forums on the net and I found out that I could just buy a standard frame that's about a quarter inch longer <clears throat> with a different, slightly different part number and screw right on, it's perfect, uh, probably give me a little bit better filtration working out here in the country. So for those of you thinking about doing something like this, you might want to check in to cross reference chart. I was able to find that on the net. Pops up. Hopefully you'll have some good luck. All right. So anyway, I wanted to show you another trick. Um, most of the time, these small filters uh, you can get with your standard power filter uh, So I'll show you a little trick here. To my little work area here. All right. So most of you guys probably have these standard type filter wrenches. It's a compression type thing when you pull on the handle it tightens up the ring. The problem is with these small filters you have a very difficult time you have a very difficult time getting that thing to come down that small. And uh, in turn you're never going to get that filter off. Uh, if you can't do it by hand. So, what what I've done in the past and did again today was just took a slice off of a 2x4. Actually, this was just a piece I had laying around. And I broke it up in a couple little pieces. And slid those in like this around that filter wrench and the filter while it was on the tractor, obviously. And then I was able to work down on this and, and get the pressure I needed to break that filter loose. So there again, something to save you a little bit of time and money. Um, old farm ranch trick. I've uh, been doing it for years. Always works. And doesn't cost you any extra money to run out and try and buy a smaller uh, tractor tractor size filter wrench. So there you go. Um, again, uh, if you are getting any value out of this content, uh, I would appreciate it if you would subscribe. We're trying to build up our subscriber account and uh, also check out some of the other videos with some more videos on here. And uh, if you're at, inter at all interested, uh, there's a link in the description for a Teespring account where you can pick up some t-shirts to help support the channel. If you would further like to support the channel, um, there's a link in the description also for Patreon donations. So anything is appreciated and we thank you for checking in. Uh, we'll get back on again a little bit later. I'm going to get this uh, new blade on a chainsaw here. And then we're going to get head back on out to that big clump that we were working on the other day. Let me see if I can get in on it. We were working on that the other day. Um, see some videos on I was having an audio trouble. So please excuse the audio videos. But anyway, we're going to try and get that big thing out of there today. Finish it up. And hopefully we won't find any of our friends laying back there. Uh, by friends, I mean rattlesnakes. Because they're out. So, we'll uh, catch back with you a little bit later. Um, I'll get set up out there and probably pop back on for a little bit. Catch you then. Thanks for checking in.